Hi there, my name is Ben Jaffe and I'll be the instructor for this Infinite Skills course. I'm also a freelance front-end web developer and instructor, a media developer and instructor, and co-host of a weekly radio show and podcast called Geekspeak. In this movie, I'll be talking about what the course covers. We start by talking about what HTML5 has to offer, why do we use it, and what does it give us. Then we dive into talking about forms. We talk about the autocomplete functionality of HTML5 forms, and of course we talk about what to do if the browser doesn't support HTML5. Then we get a little bit deeper into HTML5 forms. We talk about autofocus, placeholder text, which gives the user a hint about what to enter, and a whole bunch of new Boolean attributes for the input tag and the form tag. Lastly, we focus on the input tag. We talk about how to require input on an input field, and we talk about all the new input types. There are a lot of them, and they're all very interesting. They give us three main benefits. First of all, they're mobile friendly. That's especially useful in this day and age. Second of all, we get browser UI that comes free. In other words, if you tell an input that it's going to be of a type date, a date picker will automatically be added to the document. If you're supporting newer web browsers only, gone are the days that you have to use JavaScript to add a simple date picker or email validation. And speaking of validation, that comes free as well. Modern browsers that support these new input types will validate for you, which means you don't need to write scripts anymore to validate email addresses or any of a number of other common input types. Of course, we also talk about how to polyfill this for older browsers. If you still have to support IE 6 through 8 or Firefox 3.6 and below, no worries. There are polyfills and other projects that you can use to make old browsers happy. It'll be a really fun course on forms, and I hope that you're along for the ride.